A new South Wales, Australia's most populous state, reported 210 locally acquired cases of COVID-19 on Saturday, July 31st. Saturday and numbers bring the outbreak of 3,190 cases. Following the news, police condoned off downtown Sydney with multiple checkpoints to prevent a planned anti-lockdown protest. The city and its vicinities have been under weeks long strict lockdown, and this is to last at least until the end of August. Of those uh, tests, we had uh, 210 cases locally acquired. There were two overseas acquired. I'd like to begin by sending one final message to anyone who is intending to go into the city to engage in protest activity. Do not do it. Our policing operation um, has been in place since early this morning. Up to a thousand police officers, uh, including a range of specialist resources, are on the ground already. So do not go into the city to protest. Very, very shocking. I was shocked. I was embarrassed, actually. I had friends from overseas in WhatsApp asking me about it. And I was, yeah, I was shocked. Yeah. I didn't think it was... It's not what we do here. We generally, mostly all do the right thing. But I was shocked with three and a half thousand. That's a lot of people. And potentially 100 conservatively could have had COVID. Absolutely not. It's ridiculous. Um, obviously quite concerned that there's going to be cases that come from it. Um, people in the comments, was it a week or two ago, were sort of saying that they were positive in the crowd. So it's not going to be a good result either way. For sure, given that we know what um, coronavirus can do, it's pretty outrageous to be having a protest at this moment in time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.